So I wanted to tell you guys what I've been working on because it's been a while since I have posted, but I have content and I haven't released it because sometimes I'll get to a point and so I'll put it to the side and start working on something else. One of the things I was working on recently was a video about Juneteenth, how they've been hiding its true meaning. And I got to this part in the video where it unfolds that Juneteenth is about well, here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. And the first thing that popped into my head during this segment is 16 Carriages, the song by Beyonce that everyone thinks is about her telling her story. But it's really about how our children are being taken away from us at the age of 16. This is what Juneteenth is really all about. And so I did this whole video and I said I was going to just release it to my members since Juneteenth has already passed. But if you think I should upload it to my channel, let me know in the comments. So I said to myself, how do I explain such a touchy subject? And so of course some time has passed and just recently, I went to the movies with my little ones and we saw the new Despicable Me 4. Now, it was a really good movie, but it had a lot of hidden messages in it as well. One in particular was about stealing the junior. So I'll just play a portion of my Juneteenth video where I discuss this. So let's take a look at the White House. But coincidentally, this year, the White House chose to have their Juneteenth concert in celebration of community, culture, and music on Juneteenth, also known as June 10th. In fact, saying Juneteenth as a reference to June 19th is a colloquial representation of something being broken. In this case, it's broken English. But from a spiritual aspect, the name Juneteenth being represented from this date in particular, it is meant to create a bond from that which has been purposely broken. Using the numbers 1 and 9, when you bind them together, they unite, equating to the number 10. As a soul tie in unity, which is the state of being united as a whole, an agreement between partners. So let's revisit the statement that was presented in reference to Memorial Day that I mentioned earlier, the one about the whole family being able to enjoy several mini vacations. Notice the word vacation, because all of this was in reference to the Civil War and what happened upon its completion. A vacation is a separation, also known as emancipation. It is a representation of something being broken as it is the act of making void, vacant, or of no validity. So when they speak of the whole family enjoying many vacations, as the word many that's being used as it relates to this situation is referring to something that is junior, someone who is younger, not as old as another, as a junior partner in a company, or junior partner in a ministry. Maybe wondering why you're here. Uh, huh? We need volunteers. Uh, uh, nice work, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> the word June is not only relative to junior, but it is also in relation to the soul.
the word June is not only relative to junior, but it is also in relation to the soul. And in reference to Juneteenth, it is the celebration of a soul fracture that will eventually become a soul tie. According to the Webster's 1828 Dictionary, the word June means the sixth month of the year when the sun enters the sign of cancer. And the word sun means soul. So the soul enters into the sign of cancer, which is originally pronounced as canker. Look, they have it written right here. It is to be noted that cancer and canker are the same word. And what is a canker? It is a virulent corrosion, something that corrupts or destroys, particularly of children. So this means the June, which is the soul, equates to the junior soul, which is entering into the sign of cancer. It's entering into an environment of destruction. And that is because the junior soul or spirit is being broken through the act of emancipation. Now back to the act of emancipation, because that's what everyone is missing here and how all of this relates to the capture of children or the teen, because that's what we're talking about with Juneteenth. Emancipation wasn't about freeing the slaves. It was about freeing the son, the June or the junior, freeing the original soul tie of the child. So you can see in my video that I was explaining that the word June in Juneteenth is short for junior. Now in this Despicable Me 4 movie, it's about kids that are being taken away from their home. And one portion in particular is about stealing the junior. Junior! Junior, come back here! If you've seen Despicable Me 4, you'll notice how this one character stole the junior and decided to be his father and make him do whatever he wanted him to do. Shit and then the other father had to convince him to remember who his real father was. And that is a shout out to Memorial Day when they had the children marching through the race course. It's because they were programmed to work for the Union soldiers that had just arrived. So Memorial Day was about honoring the dead and Juneteenth was about taking the children and making them work for the people that caused their home to be broken from the start. And even though I thoroughly enjoyed watching this movie with my little ones, this movie has a very cryptic ending that showcases jail as a fun place for everyone. So like I said, I'll post that full video for my members. And I have a review of the movie Civil War that's coming up. I also have a video that discusses what's hidden about the credit system and how we can teach our children to gain back the family's generational wealth. So you guys, I have a lot more to come hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already turn on those notifications and until next time what up